Welcome back to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles students. This is lesson 126. All that I give is given to myself. So we have been together for a while. It's almost my birthday. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to change the way I'm reading the lessons as I don't have so much time. So most of the time, I'm just going to read and contemplate the lesson with you. I'm going to put the text on but I will not edit the text. I will not edit and I also will not cut out things I have said. So some of the things which I normally would have censored out, I will not. So maybe some of the things I'm going to say in my contemplations may shock you. So whatever I say as a contemplation is what I am conceiving or what I'm perceiving or feeling I need to say at that particular time. That doesn't mean that if I would go over it again, I would actually leave it as it is. And it doesn't also mean that I wouldn't change my mind later on in the, in the course. But I have made up my mind that I will deliver one lesson per day during this year for, of 2024. So, and I know that some of you are waiting for it. So this is the result of that. And also each lesson, and also I have changed the way I am presenting you the Qigong classes. I know that some of them, some of you like to, I prefer to have a seated Qigong class instead of a standing or moving meditation. So I'm recording different Qigong classes, which are suitable for applying the different uh, Course Miracle lessons too. And there's always one particular uh, lesson I have in mind when I am recording those um, Qigong sessions whether they are meditations or whether they are moving meditations or movements so therefore i will always suggest at the end one particular lesson which i feel is very suitable to apply the lesson to but i'm also always going to leave you the whole list where you can choose from so it, there is no harm done if you're re repeating a certain class which you particularly like a certain qigong class that you repeat it several times in fact they become more effective as you know what the movements are or you know when what is coming so you can actually sink deeper into into the connection with your higher consciousness with your true self holy self holy spirit whatever you would like to call it but this is what my conclusion was it was giving me a lot of stress to to get the lessons out on time and there was only two options either i stop doing them altogether or i don't edit them and i actually really enjoy um, recording the lessons i really enjoy uh, enjoying the, uh, the qigong classes as well but i just don't have the time to edit and sometimes the editing takes almost double the time than it takes to record or even three times the time by the time i have edited and uploaded it and this that and the other it just takes too long a time and i have decided to trust um to connect to this higher self of mine and trust that whatever comes out is what you need to hear and for this particular purpose to also work much better, I need to connect at the beginning of the class. I need to connect to, to my higher self. I'm using Qigong techniques because it works very well for me. So you can connect with me if you choose. Otherwise, you can fast forward and, and just read the lesson together with me. Okay. So. When we are, when we are doing a Qigong, when, when I'm doing the lesson, the first thing I always like to do is I, w I like to just tune in. My, my teacher, she calls it attunement. So I just like to tune in. Basically, I'm going to become aware of my central channel, which is coming in from the crown of the head and just going all the way down to the perineum. And it's coming out of the perineum and anchoring itself in the earth. And this anchoring in the earth really helps because it makes me understand what this body is for. This body, for me, is like a suit, which I'm using to transmit what my mind needs to transmit. And my mind is either connected to the ego or is connected to the higher self, the holy self to God. And when I'm tuning in, I'm basically going past the ego madness. And I'm trying to remember that I am the light of the world. I'm trying to remember that I'm the connection and I'm remembering that, that there is a mission, that there is a meaning why I'm doing this. So I'm here to transmit something to you and your presence is transmitting me your 
attention. So your present helps me to keep on going because your expectation um, is like a path for me. It's like a, like, a, like a signpost. Your expectation of me being here makes me be here. So this is a reciprocity. We're, we're doing this. We're working. We're doing this together. Ah, so there's the central channel. You put a smile on my face. Put a smile on your face as well. You can join me. And now I'm just going to imagine that I'm growing a, um, a tail, like a dragon's tail into the earth. And I'm anchoring my body into this earth. I am remembering that this body belongs to earth. So you can do that too. You can just grow this tail in and inhale through the nose and exhale down through the mouth. And imagine that you're exhaling through this tail. And as you're exhaling through the tail, the tail grows bigger. Very good. One more. Very good. And then I'm just going to help myself to become aware that I am more than this physical body. That I am a spirit having a human experience here. I'm a divine being having a human experience. And I'm basically remembering, I'm bringing this idea into my awareness. Very good. You can tell me afterwards how this feels to you. If you actually sense that you are more connected. Just have to check if that camera is actually on. So now we're going to start reading the lesson together. My tea. Maybe you have a tea as well. And this is my relaxing time in my relaxing corner in my washing room. <laughs> I'm actually in my washing room. Ah. Lesson 126. All that I give is given to myself. Today's idea, completely alien to the ego and the thinking of the world, is crucial to the thought reversal which this course will bring about. And I think that that particular sentence is exactly the sentence why I even do the course, is the thought reversal. I have figured out a long time ago that I need to think differently if I want to experience this life as a happy life. And it says here, it is crucial to the thought reversal which this course will bring about. All that I give is given to myself. So I'm giving to you because you are actually myself in a different body. And I'm hoping that you're having a great life too. If you believed this statement, there would be no problem in complete forgiveness, certainty of goal, and sure direction. You would understand the means by which salvation comes to you and would not hesitate to use it now. Let us consider what you do believe in place of this idea. It seems to you that other people are apart from you and able to behave in ways which have no bearing on your thoughts, nor, their, nor theirs on yours. Therefore, your attitudes have no effect on them, and their appeals for help are not in any way related to your own. Exactly. You further think that they can sin without affecting your perception of yourself, while you can judge their sin and yet remain apart from condemnation and at peace. Very interesting. This is exactly what I think. And this is exactly what most of us think. We think that we, that what other people think, that that is actually not really affecting us unless they're thinking bad of us. But we don't believe that when somebody else is making a mistake, that this is actually affecting us. Because we, we believe they're apart from us. When you forgive a sin, there is no gain to you directly. You give charity to, to one unworthy, merrily to point out that you are better on a higher plane than he, than he whom you forgive. So this is one thing which we're very good at in the West. See, I'm from I'm Croatia, from Croatia, so we are Slavs, we are Slavic, and we do not apologize very much. And we also don't like to forgive. That's why the Slavic states are always warring against their brothers. Um, because we, we don't want to forgive and we don't want to, and we don't want to ask for forgiveness either.
But in the Western countries, I feel that many are being taught to pardon, to forgive. But it's always, always, almost as if I'm better than you because I'm forgiving you your sins. And in the in my family, for example, we, we see this as falseness. We see this as this unreal. So if you if you're doing it that well, then I don't need your forgiveness at all. It's very interesting. So I'm very aware of this particular issue. He has not earned your charitable tolerance, which you bestow on one unworthy of the gifts, because his sins have lowered him beneath the true equality with you. He has no claim on your forgiveness. It holds out a gift to him, but hardly to yourself. Just have to add yourself. My mother always used to say, you don't need to ask for forgiveness. This is like you first spit into my mouth and then you want to lick it up. <laughs> first you spit into my face and then you think you can lick it up. No, you have made the mistake. There is no redemption. Go away. That, that is how she used to put it. So there was always, this is like a Slavic way of looking at it, you know, so you, you better make sure you don't make a mistake because when you make a mistake, you're going to pay for it. This is how, this is how we're being brought up. And it's, I can recognize it in all the Slavic states. No matter if they are Ukraine or if they are Russia or if they are Croatia, Serbia, whatever they are, I can just feel this line going through us. This is some kind of pride we have there, which is also not good, but it's just, just so you know where I'm coming from. So in this paragraph, when you forgive in this way a sin, there is no gain to you directly. So this is because we haven't understood how, how to forgive. Does this forgiveness basically unsound? A charitable whim, benevolent, yes, yet undeserved, really. A gift bestowed at times, at other times withheld. Unmerited, withholding it is just, nor is it fair that you should suffer when it is withheld. The sin which you forgive is not your own. Someone apart from you committed it, somebody who you, you feel that you're not related to. And if you then are gracious unto him by giving him what he does not deserve, your gift is no more yours than was his sin. If this should be true, forgiveness has no grounds on, on which to rest dependably and sure, because it's changing all the time. So if that was the way we should do forgiveness, then this, is, this forgiveness is no good for nothing. It is an eccentricity in which you sometimes choose to give indulgently an undeserved deserved reprieve. I forgive you. <laughs> Yet it remains your right to let the sinner not escape the justified repayment for his sin. Think you the Lord of heaven would actually allow the world's salvation to depend on this charade? Would not his care for you be small indeed of your salvation rested on a whim? So basically what it's saying here, do you really think that the divine intelligence is depending on your ego pretensions of forgiveness? No, this is not what the divine is about. Let's find out what the divine is actually about. You do not understand forgiveness. As you see it, it is best a check upon overt attack without requiring correction in your mind. It cannot give you peace as you perceive it. It is not a means for your release from what you see in someone other than yourself. It has no power to restore your unity with him to your awareness. It is not what God intended it to be for you. Not Having given him the gift he asks of you, you cannot recognize his gifts and think he has not given them to you at all. Yet, would he ask you for a gift unless it was for you? Could he be satisfied with empty gestures and evaluate such petty gifts as worthy of his son? Salvation is a better gift than this, and true forgiveness as the means by which it is attained, must heal the mind that gives. Forgiving is receiving. What remains as unreceived has not been given, but what has been given 
must have been received. Today, we try to understand the truth that giver and receiver are the same. So that means if I'm having an argument with somebody and I'm being obnoxious, and if I give my forgiveness to this person, then on the other end, there is also me receiving that forgiveness. It is just an illusion of time and space that I believe I am not the other person. It's just an illusion of time that you believe that you are not me and that you believe that I am not you or that I believe that I am not you. So whatever I'm giving you, I'm giving to myself. And whatever you're giving me, you're giving to yourself. Today we try to understand the truth that giver and receiver are the same. You will need help to make this meaningful because it is so alien to the thoughts to which you are accustomed. But the help you need is there. Give him your faith today and ask him that he share your practicing in truth today. And if you only catch a tiny glimpse of the release which lies in the idea we practice for today, this is a day of glory for the world. If we only feel a little tiny glimpse of the idea, all that I give is given to myself. If I just glimpse a little tiny speck of light there, then we have moved along quite a bit. Give 15 minutes twice today to the attempt to understand today's idea. It is the thought by which forgiveness take, takes its proper place in your priorities. It is the thought that will release your mind from every bar to what forgiveness mean, means, for every bar, every obstacle to what forgiveness means, and, yet, and let you realize its worth to you. In silence, close your eyes upon the world which does not understand forgiveness and seek sanctuary in the quiet place where thoughts are changed and false beliefs laid by. And this is deep within you. Remember? If you are new to this, we are, in Qigong we are talking about that the fear is stored in the kidneys, so the, the fear attaches itself to the kidneys and anger attaches to the liver, worry attaches to the um, spleen and the lungs, they, atta they uh, attach uh, sadness and depression and the heart is impatience and um, um, hatred. And the virtues behind these are hidden behind those negatives. So I always feel that this is like a belt we have. We have like a belt of fear and the light is kind of deep within our belly in the lower Dantian. This is where, where it's anchored. So sometimes we need to sink past this belt of fear into the lower, into the lower depth of our, of our self and connect to the truth we are, you know, sink deep within our mind. You see, our mind is not only in the head. Our mind is in, in, this, in and around this body. But it's difficult to remember that my, our mind is around this body as well because it's obstructed by the perceptions of our, of our senses. So we see, believe that, that, that this, everything that is around us is, is far away from us because this is how our eyes are showing us. You see, so... That's why you close your eyes, you close your ears, you close your senses, and your senses, you, you take the attention away from your senses and you seek, you sink deep within. So, to today we try to understand the truth that giver and receiver are the same. You will need help to make this meaningful because it is so alien to the thoughts to which you are accustomed. But the help you need is there and the help is with a, with a capital h give him him your higher self your god your faith today and ask him that he share your practicing in truth today so we're going to connect in our class 
to this higher self and ask him, please translate this to me in a way so I actually can understand this. And if you only catch a tiny glimpse of the release which lies in the idea we practice for today, this is a day of glory for the world. Give 15 minutes twice today to the attempt to understand today's idea. Is there thought by which forgiveness takes its proper place in your priorities? It is the thought that will release your mind from every bar to what forgiveness means and let you realize it worth to you. In silence, and this is where we have been before, in silence, close your eyes upon the world which you are seeing out there, which does not understand forgiveness and seek sanctuary in the, in the quiet place where thoughts are changed and false beliefs laid by. And this is that depth which I've just talked about be before, this depth within you. And with Qigong, we are practicing to reach this depth. And every single class we've been doing to together, we always go deep into, we, we use the center, the visualization of the, of the central channel to sink deep within. Repeat today's idea and ask for help in understanding what it really means. The idea is all that I give is given to myself. Be willing to be taught. Be glad to hear the voice of truth and healing speak to you and you will understand the words he speaks and recognize he speaks your words. To you because you are him you just forgotten you have you have placed so much of your awareness into this ego world that you have forgotten that you're the light of the world and that's what we are remembering we're helping each other remind each other because you are there waiting for me to bring the class i bring the class to you and together we are contemplating that even though you are miles away from me in space but we, mentally we are together as often as you can, remind yourself you have a goal today, an aim which makes this day a special value to yourself and all your brothers. Do not let your mind forget this goal for long, but tell yourself, all that I give is given to myself. The help I need to learn that this is true is with me now and I will trust him. So I always suggest that you write these particular um, additional phrases. I always suggest that you write this on a big piece of paper or you just leave the book open next to you while you're meditating or you're doing a Qigong class. It doesn't matter if you're doing a Qigong class and you interrupt quickly and go and read your lesson so you remember it. It doesn't matter. What we are doing here, we're doing a mental exercise. We are not doing proving to ourselves that we are great meditators or something. What we are, what we are doing is we are remembering who we truly are, and we are intending to understand our lesson. So you can always open up your book, read what it is, stop the video, read, memorize, or like I said, write it down on a big piece of paper so you can glance at it while you are in meditation. All that I give is given to myself. The help I need to learn that this is true is with me now, and I will trust him. him the Holy Spirit, the Christ consciousness within you. Then spend a quiet moment opening your mind to his correction and his love, which truly is your love and your correction. And what you hear of him, you will believe for what he gives will be received by you. So that is a beautiful lesson. It's a beautiful lesson. And it's depending, of course, how long you've been with the Course in Miracles on your understanding. It, it also depends. Some things are more clear and understandable to you than others. Mm. Some things you maybe have to work harder on and others less hard. But this is a crucial understanding to understand that we are really all one on the spiritual level, on the, on the level of the mind, on the level of the holy mind, let me put it this way, on the, on, the, on, the, on the level of higher consciousness, we really are all one. Um, you remember that I have said, if you, if, you remember, if, you, 
imagine that this is our consciousness, is our mind, and each one of those fingers is a, is a different human. If we are paying our attention only to the tip of the finger all the time, to our ego, we do not understand that we are part of that bigger consciousness. So what we want to do is we want to sink deep within and remember that we are consciousness. And as we are sinking deep within, we, we are connected. And we remind ourselves um, on levels which we cannot perceive with our senses, nor can we even remember it. We remind ourselves. Um, I believe that we're reminding ourselves during our sleeps. We connect and we make agreements with each other to meet up and help each other move along. So for today, I suggest um, either the meditation we did yesterday, which is a So for today's idea, I suggest either a meditation, which you have here, or I suggest the forgiveness um, exercise, which we did on the beginning of this particular section. Or here you have got the whole playlist where you can choose one of the classes from. <laughs> Let me know how it goes for you. Enjoy. <laughs>